Kevin, if you could give some advice to shops who are interviewing um, new employees every single day that might have uh, things on their record, what advice could you give us all as interviewers, business owners, because you've obviously had some, started too, or getting them started. Cause I think there's, you know, yeah, there's I mean, some good learning moments that we can all take as business owners that you've obviously implemented and, and, and have seen awesome success from. And I'll be honest, it sounds daunting, right? Like it sounds like this is sort of an extra problem, which may not be the case. And so, yeah. How do you, how do you open that up? So there's a ton of resources out there. I will say the best that I've found is there's a company, a background check company called Checker, checker checker.com and it's C-H-E-C-K-R.com. We use them. They have a fair chance um, employment playbook that they offer. You just have to give your email address so they'll mark it to you after that. But they offer like how to bring in return citizens to your workforce really good suggestions um i think the the biggest thing that i tell people is just keep an open mind like make sure that you are um you understand these are just other human beings that are looking to support their families you know and really as a community what do we owe people that have done kind of they've served their time they've done you know what society has asked to make up for the mistake they made and a lot of the men and women that are coming out now have had the over the last you know 10 years have had the ability to do program in prison and so san quentin's a great example i run a program that does resume writing and interview skills but it's much more it's like a confidence class where you learn how to actually talk to employers about your past Um, and it's rigorous it's 14 weeks and the guys are expected to be there on time every week to the class with their homework done. And if not, I have the option to ask them to leave. My commitment to that agreement is that I'm there on time. What are like really specific ones that apply? So like, is it like that of like, you have to be on time when you're showing up or, or you, you don't get a second chance or like, um... I I would say whatever rules apply to your regular employees, start Mm -hmm. with that. Um, Let people know, essentially your other employees know that you're, you're offering this opportunity so they can like, you know, talk about their comfort levels with that and have an open conversation with employees. Um, make sure that you're rigorously interviewing them like you would anyone else. Right. Um, and talk specifically about the job function and make sure that they're, that's something that they, they want to and are committed to doing, you know, because I, I think a lot of the problems that we run into is that we hire people that are like, yeah, yeah, I need a job. I need a job. But is screen printing really the job you need or is it the job you're taking because you can't find anything else in this tiny little town we live in, you know, and you're going to get gems out of that from time to time anyway. But I think, you know, there's a lot of opportunity around um, fair chance employment where you'll get people that not only need the job for obvious reasons, but are, will be incredibly committed and loyal because of the opportunity that has been handed to them. And, you know, but don't let them not work for it. You know, like every other employee, like give promotions and raises based on merit, you know, make sure that they understand that, that there's a certain level of expectation as far as what they produce every day. You know, like a lot of people that have been in institutions really do well with, with rules and, you know, understanding what the rules are, they're going to be a lot more, um, sort of ready to accept them because they've been dealing with rules their entire lives, many of them. Right. And so just be really thoughtful and careful, um, in hiring like you would with any other position. And I, I, I guarantee just what I tell businesses is give it a shot once and you know, it may not be for you. That's fine. But I, most of the time, 85% or plus the time, you're going to find out that you've hired an employee that is loyal, hardworking, willing to learn anything and able to communicate. And that's what we need out of employees in general, you know, and that's been my experience. And I, yeah, I guess you're right. There is, there's a, there is a stigma. Maybe that overshadows like the, uh, that's what it <laughs> the is. Ability to actually fear. manage correctly. Yep. It's fear. It's, it doesn't have anything to do. You just treat everybody the same. There's no, there's no difference. And I guarantee you, you already have most shops already have somebody that served some time in there. In All right. Staff. I got a specific I question around this then. Um, wh- like what types of backgrounds are okay? Because I've had an issue where there was a person that applied that I was like, I, this person can't be around or 
other people would not feel comfortable around this person. Yeah, like what are your non-negotiables? <laughs> right, or- so where, where's the line there? We don't have any non-negotiables at Social Inference. Um, so we, but we are democratic. And if somebody brings to our attention that they're on like the sex registry or something else, we talk to the other employees about their comfort levels and everybody gets a voice. So you can come to us with whatever. That doesn't mean we're going to hire you. And, but that means that we're going to, if we like you, if like you're the director who's interviewing for that job and Jeff and whoever else is in that interview likes the person, they will, you know, we will talk about it as a team. Kevin, will you get applicants that are still like they might be in treatment or they might still not be clean or like, are you like, Hey, I'm not sorry. Like you need to, we, 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 because we're such a high level company, we, we request that people have at least two years clean to come work for us. You got to get your head in order. It's really hard when you're first clean, especially if you're, you know, we've had a huge meth problem in, in California, fentanyl, et cetera. Fentanyl is a very different, the, the fentanyl, the way that it works versus other opioids is, is a very different sort of chemical, um, reaction. And you, ha- you end up having these like the, them holding on the, to your receptors, the, you know, what you, the, the stuff you get from fentanyl is just hard to fight. It's really a hard drug to get clean from. And it's so prevalent in everything now. Um, so I think that that rule applies to that, especially, but you know, you've got to, got to get to a point where your life is somewhat stable. Um, to really be able to be your best at a job. I mean, there's no, I, I wish I could candy coat that, but the, you can't, it's just the reality of it. And we've hired people with less time and we've had disastrous results. So, um, you know, people high at work and, you know, lying to us about it. And we haven't had anyone specifically like steal or do anything too crazy. We've actually had more problems with, with bonded temps than we have with our staff around stuff like that. So, um, we try to be just diligent about, you know, it's a very rigorous interview process for SI because we have so many benefits that we want to make sure we're getting the right people. We pay higher than industry rip wages. Our starting pay is good. We do profit sharing. There's, you know, incredible health benefits. So we're, we try to be really careful about who we hire because it's, it's actually, in my opinion, you know, and I'm sure there's ex employees that would disagree with me. It's a privilege to work here. I mean, you, we wrote everybody a $12,000 check for profit sharing this year. You know, so, I mean, it's, it's, it's no joke. And, uh, you know, the more we take on that attitude, the better for, um, our existing employees. Like, yeah, it's a privilege to work here. We want the right people. We want people that really are dedicated to this job. 